All right, we're back to Battleground Ontario now. And last night in Thornhill, local progressive conservatives nominated Gila Mart Marto. And Gila joins us now from Toronto. Gila, great to have you on the program. Congratulations on the big win last night. I know they could be nervous things. Um, uh, just so our viewers know, uh, optometrist, a mom, former president of the Riding Association. But tell me, how come you wanted to take the step from Riding Association Prez to, to put your name on the, on the actual ballot? I'm actually quite known, well known in the community. And I'm president of a local ratepayers association. I'm mm -hmm. a regular fixture at council meetings in Vaughan as well as Markham. Um, I write for a couple of local papers. I hosted a show last year on Rogers TV in York Region on the issues in York Region and the politics behind the uh, issues. And uh, I'm just really involved in the community and a lot of organizations. And um, I want to represent the community. I've got a great team behind me saying, Gila, we can do it. The, uh, at the nomination, I was noticing in some of the coverage of it, uh, you had former federal liberal uh, MP Susan Caddish standing beside you. You understand they're good friends, and that's good to see that there could be some cross-partisan stuff. Mm -hmm. But let me ask you about, uh, if, you, if you win, you're going to be on the opposition benches, of course. Let me ask you your opinion of the win government. I'm assuming you're not a big fan of it, but what specifically uh, are folks in Thornhill telling you about uh, Premier Wynn? Well, I think people are very tired of having an unelected Premier represent them or maybe I should say not represent their interests. Uh, we have a lot of concerns in York Region, um, specifically in Thornhill. People are seeing the gridlock um, get worse every single month, let alone every single year. And uh, people want transit. They want their tax dollars to go to transit that they're willing and able to take. Right now they're seeing their transit dollars go to east-west projects that are costing hundreds of millions of dollars mm -hmm. instead of north-south projects, which is what people want. Uh, so, uh, you know, I can give you a small example. There's a rapid way along Highway 7 being built uh, across York Region, and um, they want to divert it right through Thornhill um, to allow for some rezoning projects, I believe, and they want to come off of Highway 7 down Bathurst across Centre Street. It's going to be two to four years of work. It's going to make the St. Clair disaster look like child's play. Uh, we want to see that $100 million for that diversion of the rapid way, not cancelling the whole project, just the little part through the residential area. We want to see that money put to better use. Uh, the engineering report for the young subway expansion north, we're told, is exactly $100 million. I don't think it's a coincidence. I think it's a message in there somewhere. Let's reallocate the money. Let's put the rapid back in rapid transit, and let's get people out of their cars onto transit that they want to take and are willing to take. Earlier in the program, we were talking to Chris Froggen, and he was saying it's not too hard to be a bit cynical about Premier Wynne's approach to winning elections, or, or and I'll say it, to the provincial liberals' approach to winning the last general election. The billion dollars they spent of our money essentially to win those couple of seats, which made the difference in the minority government. We've seen in Niagara Falls in this one that the Premier, oh, by coincidence, had hundreds of millions of dollars for uh, the grape growing business and all and hospitals. Are you worried that Sandra Young Rackley, your liberal opponent, is one day going to show up with the Premier and uh, there's going to be a whole lot of money all of a sudden for some sort of transit project in your neck of the woods. Well, what Kathleen Wynne has shown is that she has definitely put the buy into by-election. Uh, we're sick and tired. We've been promised every single, um, you know, McGinty Wynne government um, election campaign. We've been promised the Young Subway expansion. I don't think the voters are that naive that they believe that all of a sudden this time they're going to mean it. Um, they've had a chance to, um, to get moving on the project and they haven't. Um, we, you know, everybody's anxious to see more money invested in health care, not just in new hospitals, but also in funding the existing hospitals. And uh, we've seen beds shut down at hospitals in uh, ICU. Um, and the, the voters, basically, they want to see some uh, accountability in their government, and they're tired of this. I'm assuming, and you correct me if I'm wrong, that it's really going to be a Liberal or PC fight in Thornhill. But if Andrea Horvath comes through and there's people in Thornhill thinking they'd like a change, uh, what do you tell those who are thinking about voting for Andrea Horvath that, no, they got the wrong person, vote for Tim Hudak? Uh, well, I think that the PC party led by Tim Hudak is the only party with a plan, with a vision to get transit moving, to have a strong uh, economy. And, um, you know, I'm not going to say you're throwing away your vote. I believe in voter engagement and I want everybody to vote no matter who they're voting for. Um, but the NDP has not been strong in Thornhill. Uh, so we're, we're not going to see an NDP uh, candidate elected in Thornhill and I would like any NDP Thor, uh, supporters in Thornhill to vote 
for a party that wants to get the economy moving and wants to get transit moving. We've been hearing from any number of commentators that Thornhill was in the PC column uh, for a lot of reasons, but one of them was certainly the, 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 uh, the person you're trying to place, and that's Peter Sherman, very popular uh, in Thornhill. That said, the method by which he left politics with some of this expense stuff, is that left a sour taste in anybody's mouth? Are you getting questions about that uh, when you uh, talk to people? I think that people are telling me that uh, they, want to concede, they want to continue to see the uh, strong leadership and legacy. Peter was a great representative of the community. I'm hearing over and over from all uh, the different uh, organizations in the riding. Um, it's a very good um, microcosm of the multiculturalism that we're seeing uh, all over um, the country in Thornhill. And he helped people on all kinds of different projects. And I'm looking forward to continuing his legacy. I've lived in Thornhill for almost 25 years and been involved in the community. And uh, I'm just looking forward to representing my community as a community person. Guy Lamardo, good luck in Thornhill running for Tim Hudak's Progressive Conservatives. Thanks for coming in today. Appreciate it. Thank you so much.